The following video shows a couple who are getting ready for bed when something downright terrifying is caught on camera. The footage comes from an indoor home security camera that the couple had installed inside their bedroom. After the chilling events of that night, they sent this video to a friend who looked it over and concluded that what happened in their home is beyond explanation. Needless to say, the friend had found the video to be disturbing. At the start of the clip, we can see both partners doing their nightly routine. One's at the foot of the bed, while the other is inside the bathroom. Then, minutes later, the partner who is inside the bathroom joins the other in bed. It isn't until seconds later that we see both partners fully in bed. However, it is at this moment that something disturbing is caught on camera. This is what was caught. <laughs> Es que todo fue tan rápido, hermano, todo fue tan rápido. Mira, todo estaba tranquilo, ni media buena la luz y como que... Juanca como que siente algo, no sé, por la espalda. Y mira, no, esa, esa, esa me creo que... ¡Uy! ¿Lo viste? ¿Viste? Mírame la piel. Mira, 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 mira. The sheet suddenly pulls itself off the bed. The man then proceeds to check the bathroom. When all of a sudden, he's attacked by something. The woman is also attacked by an unseen force. They then leave the room at once and promptly run to the front door. But then something else happens that has left the couple even more disturbed than before. Take a look. It's unclear as to whether or not the couple had returned home, but given what occurred, viewers think it's best if they stay somewhere else until it's safe to return. Now as for the footage, one could say that the use of strings had helped pull this off, but because there's so much going on in this video, viewers believe that something other than strings had caused this. As with most videos, this one remains a mystery. The following video shows a real estate agent showcasing a property on camera when something downright creepy is caught on tape. The footage comes from a YouTube channel owned by a real estate broker named Santiago Sanchez who's been uploading videos of homes that are up for sale. By filming these properties and putting them on his channel, Santiago has been able to sell most homes. However, out of all the homes he's filmed, there's one in particular that he doubts will ever be sold. On June 15th of 2015, Santiago had posted a video unlike any other he's posted before. The video starts off with him standing in front of a house, seeming a bit scared, as he tells us that the owner had warned him not to go inside. Me han dicho no entres, pero si quieres ir a grabarla, puedes grabar el video, pero ten mucho cuidado, no salte de la casa rápido. Casi me voy a atrever a entrar y y este es el el video. According to the owner, he and his family had promptly left the house late one night after experiencing strange activity for months. Ever since then, the house has been vacant. It wasn't until weeks later that they reached out to Santiago asking for his help in selling their home. Although a house like this is hard to sell, 
he still showcased the property on the off chance that someone might still buy it. But, little does he know that something downright creepy would happen while being inside. Upon entering the property, he smells a strong, foul odor that seems to linger throughout the house. He then walks over to the kitchen and sees that a colony of ants has taken over the sink. Now according to the owner, there have been sudden infestations of flies and other insects throughout the home, which Santiago finds odd, as the house is practically new and therefore shouldn't have this problem. Although strange, it isn't as odd as what happens later in the footage. Take a look. Look, no tenía por qué haber ningún tipo de, de insectos. Estamos en la cocina. Se puede ver cómo ellos vaciaron todos los, toda la cocina rápidamente para irse corriendo. Está todo abierto. Eh, no han vuelto por esta casa. Yo mmm, no sé qué decir, pero pueden ver todavía pertenencias. Es raro. Esto nunca se lo llevaron. No quiero alejarme mucho de la puerta, la verdad. <risa> oh, esto está horrible, este lado. No sé cómo puede estar tan horrible en poco tiempo. Eh, una de las cosas que noto es que hay un olor que está horrible, como podrido. Santiago then proceeds to go inside a bedroom that has a hidden closet. The owner states that his family has felt a certain presence within this closet and has kept it shut for the longest time, until recently. Feeling a bit spooked, he heads on over to the other rooms, where he begins to feel even more uneasy. What happens then has left him baffled. This is what he caught. Eh. Aquí pueden observar donde estaba el master bedroom, la habitación principal, pueden ver que todavía hay cosas, pero pueden ver cómo rápidamente cogieron todo, toda la ropa y se marcharon. Pueden ver ahí todas las perchas. Rápidamente sacaron toda la ropa, la cargaron en el coche y desaparecieron. Dejaron bastantes cosas detrás de ellos. Hay un olor extraño como podrido en este, en este área de la casa. Este es el otro cuarto. Pueden observar. Todavía hay cosas, pertenencias. Eh, bastante raro. Ahora lo que vamos a hacer va a ser... Eh, aquí en la pared. Eh, hay unas marcas en la casa, en varias áreas como serían eh, marcas, uñas de alguien que ha raspado o desde definitivamente son eh, algo raro que están rayadas las paredes en varias áreas. Esta es la, eh, ok, bueno, esta es la parte de arriba, es extraño, la verdad. Este es el otro, el otro, eh, un Hay ruidos en la casa, puedo decir, hay ruidos. Ahí hay unos ruidos que estoy oyendo, como unos clac, clac. Es muy extraño. Eh, y esto es lo que es la casa. Estas personas estuvieron aquí viviendo unos dos, tres años. Y, y me llamaron, dijeron que la tuvieron que abandonar porque definitivamente algo raro estaba ocurriendo. Cuando abandonaron la casa, no la, la abandonaron a las dos de la mañana. Después de que ocurrió, según ellos, cosas muy raras. Pero bueno, yo he querido venir, grabar eh, el vídeo y ver, you know, un poquito, you know, de todo lo que, lo que está ocurriendo en esta casa. Eh, yo no creo, pero bueno, esta es la casa. Eh, es muy, muy interesante. Y... Yeah. Oh. Mejor me voy saliendo ya de la casa... Eh... Pero, otra vez, eh, si necesitan comprar una casa, siempre miren el propri, el historial de las casas. Es muy importante, ¿ok? The chair all of a sudden rocks on its own. 
It is at this moment that Santiago decides to leave the premises while trying to keep calm by talking more about the property. The sudden infestation of flies, ants, and other insects, plus the markings on the walls, as well as the foul odor throughout the home, have led viewers to believe that the house is haunted. And of course, the chair moving on its own was enough to convince them that something paranormal had occurred. But, as always, I'll leave it to you to come up with your own conclusion. Like with most videos, the question still remains. What exactly had been caught on camera? This next video speaks for itself. We can see three people who appear to be friends using what looks to be a Ouija board. Out of all paranormal videos, those involving Ouija boards often show footage of a session that goes wrong. That being said, this next video is no exception. This is what was caught. A stuffed toy moves on its own, but it seems that no one had noticed it. That is until later in the video when someone looks over. Whether real or not, viewers believe that it's best to never use a Ouija board as most videos show that something goes wrong. But of course, what do you think? This next video features a family of three who lives in a house that they believe is haunted. The family has experienced many strange occurrences inside this house, but out of all things encountered, there's one incident that is by far the creepiest. The following is the video they took. The video begins with the father of the family who's recording what appears to be a small pool for children. According to him, his son Rowan was playing with mom inside the pool when he points to the house and says that he could see a man in the window. And right there in that room, that's where Rowan said that he saw a man inside there. And he stood and he sat in the pool right here and he sat there staring up. And he said, that's a man. And he, and he kept looking in there and said, there's a man in there. So. If no one had been inside, then who or what did Rowan see? Rowan's mother states that she was creeped out by her son's comment, but it's what happened later that day that creeped her out the most. After playing in the pool, they both go inside to dry up when Rowan walks over to the dining room where the figure was seen and stares at something for a very long time. Unsure as to what he was seeing, she asked him if there was something there, to which he nodded and said, I could see a man with big black hair. He then says that he looks like an airplane, which neither of his parents could understand. But then, after telling us this story, the father goes on to record his son and ask him more questions about this man. He hurt his brain? And then what happened? Did he say anything? He hurt his butt. Now it could be the case that he's just saying whatever comes to mind as most children do, but what happens later in the video has left both parents baffled. This is what was caught. Well, do you have anything else to add? Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. He apparently sees a man in there. That's a big man. That's a big man? The father captures footage of his son, who appears to be seeing something. 
Is he there? What's he look like? He is an airplane. He, he looks, always says that he looks. He like looks an like airplane. an airplane. There's another man. He's a black man. He's a black man. And okay, he's a black man, right? After giving another detail about the man, he walks over to the dining room and sits at the entrance. He then points to the corner and says that he could see the man standing right there. As you might have guessed, the parents can't help but think that their child has seen a ghost. Now it could be that their son has an overactive imagination and are therefore mistaking an imaginary friend for a ghost. Yet, the following day, the father makes a shocking discovery that may dispel this notion. Take a look. Hi, uh, I just wanted to say that uh, this is the next day after Rowan's been telling us about that ghost that he saw, and we just realized he's been telling us a black man um, was in here with big hair, with big black hair, um, and he's been in, he's, he was in this room, that room, and we didn't know, but we were looking around, and we found out that this piece of little furniture, this thing my mom gave us, and we found it in the corner. It's called a unity unity carving. See? And it's made carved from one piece of wood. And it and look, look at this that we found on it, and we didn't even know. But speaking of a black Ghana. Ghana is in Africa, so this is, and it's, we looked up, it's made from all one piece of wood. It's like this artistic thing that, you know, it's like hard to make or whatever. And, and it, they probably get paid very little, which is why they're able to resell these for fairly cheap in the United States. But we think maybe the person who crafted it was the ghost or something, or connected to this, the person connected to this thing was the ghost. Okay, so we just thought it, we, I'd add that tidbit in. Okay. What are your thoughts on this? Is the piece responsible for the man that Rowan sees? Or is it all due to an overactive imagination? Feel free to share what you think. If you caught something creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. That being said, let's get back to the video. This last video was posted by David Stenberg, who owns a dog that according to him has been acting very strange. David had filmed the following video and writes, This is the only recorded example of this behavior, but it has happened in the middle of the night, the middle of the day, and in several rooms of the house. This is what he caught on camera. Get in here. Get in here. Get in here. What is the deal? Astrid, you're freaking me out. Come here. Come on. For some reason, David's dog will not go in the room. There doesn't appear to be anything threatening inside, which is odd as his behavior suggests otherwise. Because of this, viewers believe that there was actually something inside the room, but it could only be seen by the dog. Knowing this, the question then becomes, what exactly was being seen? Was an unseen ghost caught on camera? Or was something else caught instead? Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Until next time.